In this video, we'll take a look at graphing quadratic equations of the form y equal ax squared plus bx plus c, which graph in either a parabola opening upward or downward. To graph a quadratic equation, it's very useful to know several points of interest. One set of points is the x-intercepts, where the graph intersects the x-axis, the y-intercept, where the graph intersects the y-axis, and special to a quadratic equation is the vertex, the point of the graph that intersects with the axis of symmetry. Let's take a look at an example. Here they're asking us to graph this quadratic equation. The leading coefficient is positive. So just as a mental image, this equation will graph in a parabola that opens upward since our leading coefficient is positive. To graph it particularly, we'll start by finding the coordinates of the vertex. To find the x-coordinate of the vertex, we'll use the relationship of negative b over 2a. a, as previously mentioned, is the leading coefficient. b is the coefficient of the linear term. So we have the value a equal 1, b equal 2, Replacing that in this ratio results in the following, and simplifying gives us an x-coordinate of the vertex of negative 1. Not only do we have the x-coordinate, but it also gives us the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry will be x equal this value. So here we have our axis of symmetry is x equal negative 1, shown in the dashed line. To find the vertex, we need to find the y value. We will use x equal negative 1 and replace it in the equation. Doing so, we have the following. Simplifying by following the order of operations, we find a corresponding y value of negative 9 when x is equal to negative 1. We now have our vertex. Once the vertex is found, plot some other points on either side of the vertex. Letting x equal negative 4, we find y is equal to 0. We'll plot that point along with several other points, and using a smooth curve, we'll connect those points, and here we have the graph of this quadratic equation. Note as predicted, with our leading coefficient being positive, it is opening upward. Further points of interest, here we have the y-intercept, the point where the graph intersects the y-axis, and was found here with the x value of 0, resulting in a y value of negative 8. Just to recap how we graphed this quadratic equation of this form, the vertex x-coordinate was found by the relationship negative b over 2a. Once found, the y-coordinate is found by substituting that value into the original equation and solving for y. Another quick point for the equation is to find the y-intercept, which requires x to equal 0. Once that point is found, we can use reflection about the axis of symmetry to find a third point. Connecting these points will give us the curve, or plotting other points to determine that final shape results in the parabola. Let's take a look at using this procedure to graph another equation. Here the quadratic equation has a leading coefficient that is negative. This means the parabola will open downward. To dig out the details, we'll start by finding the vertex. The x-coordinate of the vertex is found by taking negative b over 2a a is negative 2, the leading coefficient, b is the coefficient of the linear term for this particular equation has a value of 4. Replacing b and a with the values of the equation gives us the following. Simplifying, we find that the x-coordinate of the vertex is x equal 1. This not only gives us the x-coordinate, but it also establishes the axis of symmetry x is equal to 1, a vertical line. 
The only point of the parabola that intersects the axis of symmetry is the vertex, and right now we only know the x-coordinate. To find the y-coordinate, replace x with 1 that was found to find the corresponding y, which is 3. We now have the vertex. We need an additional point, and we can use the table, plugging in values on either side of the axis of symmetry, or let's start by targeting that y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, we let x equal 0. Replacing x with 0 results in y equal 1, the constant term. Plotting the y-intercept then using the symmetric property of the axis of symmetry reflecting that same distance horizontally about the axis of symmetry gives us the point 2, 1. We now could plot our parabola or find other points and connecting a smooth curve we now have a graph of the parabola and as initially noted, it is opening downward.